Hello everybody, thank you for coming back to the channel and welcome to this new chapter with the building of the Antonov. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do in this chapter but there are a lot of things to do. So I've started, I've, uh, as you remember last time I was putting on the lower wing. I've already put in the control horns for the ailerons. This would be the control horn that will go to the servo. And this little hole here, it's a bit of a plastic card, will then go and move then the top aileron. This is actually on the other side, but then you have got both. So this is the what I've been doing up to now. So I'll probably maybe go ahead put in the put in the hinges and maybe even the tissue on that and also on the upper ailerons. Other activities that have to be done, as you can see I'm still holding the lower wings with uh, with these kind of pegs. The dihedral was good on the lower wing, so I think I'm going to measure it again, fix it, and then I've got to uh, probably put in a pin hole or something, a pin to make sure that I have the, the two elements lined up and then drill out the holes. The big challenge here is going to be to building the wing struts. I think you can see them just about here. And the plan is over there. I found it. Um, but of course it's at an angle, right? So I'm going to need to build some kind of reinforcements on the lower wing and upper wing uh, so that I can actually put in the the, um, the wing strut and that's got to be relatively thick, probably two and a half, three millimeters, something like that and make sure that it somehow keeps it all tight and in place and also thanks to Joe and his recommendation uh, and still considering to do the some kind of rigging um, I was looking at photographs online and things like that so what I want to do is at least I might not do the let's see if you can see it if I move it forward you might see it here yes this is the the rigging um, at least to putting maybe rigging that goes from the bottom to the top from, so from the bottom at the, fu or the root of the fuselage then to the top um, and maybe also the other one I've never done rigging before, so it's going to be really challenging. I'm thinking how to do it in a way that actually it, it supports not just decoration, but that it gives also some strength. So what I'm thinking of doing is drilling, when I drill here, to put in toothpicks. Maybe not to put in toothpicks, but put to, to put in some tubing. And this comes from this like kind of plastic tubing. Um, and then I could use that to keep the wing in place and then also to allow for some uh, some thread to go through and to be tied on to the other side right so that is kind of what i'm thinking it would have to come out from there and then come up here to the top of the of the wing strut um, and then maybe go across and then down to the other side right so that's a bit of the of the thought that i'm having um, going to be really challenging so a lot of a lot of things to do there uh, and uh, somehow I'm going to have to figure it out as I go. I also need to put in the servos, so I might actually put those already in and then do a, a test of the servos and see that everything works. And even if I do not glue in the, the aileron, just make sure that everything is working. I could also do the push rods uh, on it. I then also need to do then the, the root of the wing is a piece of wood that is carved. That's also going to be an interesting challenge. Um, and then really like a lot. Then eventually then the tissueing, also building up the lower part of the fuselage, putting there more of the, of the stringers in there. So as you can see, quite a lot that has to be done and I'm not sure all in, in what order. I have to do it all in a way that I can then do it and then take it apart and then assemble it again. So that's, uh, that's also a challenge uh, because it's, I, I don't want to put the tissue on the wings when they're already in place. I want to tissue them off and then assemble them on. So. Um, that's going to be also a step by step so I foresee that this chapter is going to be a bit of a, of a mess going all, all over and uh, at least getting some progress in all these critical areas so let's see how this goes follow along on this one and I'll keep you updated and some updates on, on all these headaches that are going on so on the on the bright side what I managed to do is I, I built up the, the ailerons of the lower wing and I put in the control horns, I don't know if you can see them, so it's one single piece of plastic from the from the swimming card. Um, this one should then be connected to the servo and then this other little hole then will have a push rod 
and go up to the aileron on the top wing. I've got it for both sides, I've also put in the, the hinges, so that's almost ready to test once I have things in place. Um, I've also progressed on the aileron front a little bit more. I've got here, that's the other aileron, I started to do the tissue, it's still a little bit wet, I do it with a water and glue mix. I aim for 50% mix, but it probably isn't. So that is, uh, that is what I'll be doing. There's still three more ailerons to do, so I'll keep that, uh, that progressing. I, I do the tissue covering at the same time, because as I don't like it, then at least I split it up a little bit. So that's then still drying, I'm going to put it aside. Um, what else did I do? I don't have the model down here, it's hanging up there. <laughs> it's hanging up on the shelf. Uh, what I did manage to do, I did manage to assemble the, um, the wings, the lower wings. And for that what I did, let's see if you can see it on this wing, so I've made, I've made holes on the, on the two spars, on the front spar and on the rear spar. One of them is a little bit wider because I'm intending for the, for the narrower hole, hole or the smaller hole to put in the toothpick that then goes into the, into the fixture on the fuselage. And on the bigger one I want to put in this kind of small plastic tubing. This comes from Q-tips, I think they're called, what you use to clean your ears. I cut off the, the cotton on the ends and like this, then I would have, if it fits and I don't break anything, it holds it in place and then it gives me also a, a space, a hole, through which I hope to be able to thread the, what they call, the rigging, right? So, um, actually the, the dihedro was sitting quite well, I also fixed a little bit the top dihedro I think it's getting better, but now the, the main worry and concern is the rigging. So that's going to still go on. What else have I done? So I found a piece of bolsa that I'm going to be using for the, for the struts. It's kind of exactly the, the, the right width and thickness. I think it's from another model. I'm not sure. I think it's from the Hurricane actually. So I'll be using that. And in the meantime, I've also been, I've cut out the lower formers. I've modified a little bit from the plan. These are the the base of the of the of the struts. If this is on the lower part, then it's going to be somehow at an angle. So I've got to put in the top one and the bottom one, and then somehow figure out at what angle to put in the the strut itself. I've also built in a, a fake, let's say, a, a double a double what do we call this a, a rib. And I've put in also some small blocks of wood. I still have to sand those off to hold the base of the strut in place. And this is still drying, so I don't want to push it in too much. And I've done it also on the on the other wing. So I've got to be careful here. Yeah, I think it's kind of okay, like that, right? So then the strut would come in somehow at an angle. Looking at it from the back, it's going to be something like this. And looking at it from the front, it's also going to be something like that. So then this will have to go in and get glued. The challenge is with the rigging, because I think for the rigging of the... Because the rigging goes all across, right? So it's going to be difficult. But uh, I think with the, with the plastic tubes here, I'll be able to rig up to the top of the strut, maybe with two independent threads. Um, for that, I don't know if I showed you, I have the, that ball of thread somewhere that, it's, that it doesn't stretch which I think is the good thing because then it will keep the strength. Um, but then I also have to think for the rigging that comes down, right? So the rigging that goes from the top of the fuselage, which is over here, to the bottom of the wing, which is here, to the, to the top of the bottom wing, just to make things more confusing. And what I'm thinking is to cut some slots in here and then somehow maybe with a, with a sequin or something, or a piece of wood maybe just to to thread it over and then go on trying until it's um, it's got the right tightness. What I'm afraid of this being balsa and quite soft balsa at it is what I'm thinking of doing is to take some plywood and maybe create some kind of a, a thin narrow piece here, a doubler, cutting a slot in it and that uh, that will actually help hold it in place. That might actually then allow to have one single thread coming from the let's say from the rear top part of the fuselage down to the wing bottom wing over to the front and then back up to the top front of the fuselage so very complicated and uh, I'm sure as, as always say there are better ways of doing this but this rigging is a whole new 
discovery so I think what I'll be doing as I say is do that doubler with plywood one millimeter plywood shouldn't be a big problem with weight but should give it quite a lot more strength when I'm fumbling around with it um, the next challenge is also then going to be how to do the tissue covering if I should do the tissue covering before first I have to actually do the whole assembly make sure it all fits and that I can take it off then do the tissue covering then assemble it back on again together right so that's um, a lot of t taking things on and off and uh, things break each time so it's a, a bit of a frustration anyhow um, I stop rambling now because now I have to work with plywood also a challenge but using scissors which is a trick that that Cliff shared let me give you an update because I'm doing a lot of small things and then I'm going to lose track on what I said and what I haven't so um, I brought down the plane again and uh, one thing that happened when I was trying to take the wing off let's see if you can see it the lower wing I cracked one of the spars it didn't break off I just cracked it I heard it and oops so it happens um, I put a bit of glue on it and then what I've done to reinforce it I've put a little bit of one millimeter ply on the bottom I'm thinking maybe and it's not quite clear on the plan that maybe this piece should have been done same as the top part this one and this one which is the the base basically the the form as to which the, the lower wing goes maybe to have done it also out of three millimeter ply oh, so laminate three pieces but anyhow it is what it is I've put some glue on it and then I've tied it with threads to to keep it in place because I don't have any other way I don't want to put a peg on it because it could crush the, the bolsa so that's that's dry in there um, what else have I done yes I continue with the uh, with tissue in the ailerons that's another aileron that's the bottom left aileron what I've done with the with the right lower wing too many wings here I've put on the aileron I haven't glued it in yet but uh, but I just wanted to present it there I've glued in the the servo um, and uh, I've put in also the connecting rod so I would have them to test it to see if it works or not I suppose it will I did test the servo before actually after gluing it I should have done it before but it does work um, and I haven't glued in the hinges yet also there's this other piece that comes out I have put on the other uh, the one millimeter ply to strengthen it my plan for this for the stretch is to try to cut a hole I don't know if I can point at it somehow cut a hole or a slot from the back and from the front so it's going to be really very very narrow or very tight fit in which I can then thread in the the rigging I've got some ideas how to do it so that would be then for this part and the same on the top wing for the top wing I have these I have cut out also these pieces this will go in the top wing somehow like here but sticking out from the bottom so I've got to make sure it fits it's a little bit wider but I prefer to make things longer and then sand down than the other way around so that is what I've done there so far I think I've done something else I can't remember now but anyhow the, also the, the other wing is here still the aileron is drying same process and I've also started to do the top right aileron first coat of water and glue I'm putting two coats looks a bit shiny and good so let's see how it goes um, and I think that's it for the moment then next steps I believe it's going to be continue with the ailerons do build up the other lower wing uh, and then maybe even try the rigging approach which will go then from the top part here then if you can see from this part then down to the to the lower wing so to here so that's going to be also the test and then do the same thing with the top wing with the rigging going the other way around so from the bottom to the top right so complicated a lot of small steps but uh, but some progress so I'm going to wrap up the chapter already I know it doesn't look like too much progress but uh, but yeah this uh, something has been done right and this is dragging on a little bit so as you can see I've kind of finished the the four ailerons a lot of ailerons on a biplane of course and I've also installed then the push rods to the servos I don't know if you can see them in there there you might be able to see them let's see if I can yeah. there's one and I've also connected the ailerons on the upper and the lower wings there they are and uh, if you give me a moment let me prop you up I'm going to try to connect the battery I've also plugged in the, the cables to the 
to the Y cable so the servers are connected to the Y cable and hopefully this works let's see I've got the transmitter on I wonder if this is connected yeah so let's see so everything is wired up elevator rod is moving backwards you can see there maybe we have to switch it uh, then we have then the rudder that one is moving okay I'll try the throttle not moving much because the propeller is not tight on like the engine is moving but the propeller isn't and now the moment of truth which is the ailerons let's see if we do a little bit of the wiggle wiggle yes so they seem to be moving both together the wings aren't glued in yet of course still have to do all the rigging I just hold them in place with with some toothpicks there you can see the detail but the ailerons seem to be moving well so this is to the right okay that's to the left so not too much movement but I'm hoping that as they do have quite a lot of surface and it's ailerons on both top and bottom wing that it will have effect uh, so and it doesn't feel actually loose so I don't think I can get much movement out of them than what I have so as I say I'm going to leave it here because there's still all the rigging to do I have to then take it all apart actually um, build the, the struts which is what I wanted to do first I've got these pieces then that will go into the top part of the wing do some strengthening there with the plywood and do the actual rigging and see if I can figure that out and once I have that then take it all apart and start to finish all the pieces of wood and start the tissue. There's still quite a lot of wood especially at the roots of the wings because there are some solid blocks to, to put in place but uh, overall quite happy. Slow progress actually quite a lot of things but not very visual progress but there is some progress which is which is good. So let me wave bye bye and thank you everybody as always to for watching and I'll see you next time.